Good day. My name is Evgeny. In this video, I would like to talk about the reasons why I wrote my free ebook Simple Truths of Life. As you might know from my previous videos, I had certain experiences with the people from the planet Saoba, namely with Sao and Biastra. Those experiences are the reason why I know that Michel de Marquez's book Saoba the Golden Planet is completely true. And since I know that, I also know that it's a very accurate document, since Sao dictated to Michel the details of his journey when he was writing his book. So I used to study this book a lot. But during a significant amount of time, I had trouble sharing my story with other people because I was afraid of what they might think of me. I was afraid that they would consider me another insane person, which can seriously damage one's life, especially if you want to live in the society and you want to have a normal life. But with time, slowly but surely, I was getting rid of my problems and difficulties talking about my life. So, little by little, I started to post my story with Saobians on different forums. There was quite a small amount of people who would leave any comment on my story. But some of those people who did leave a comment actually believed my story and there were also skeptics. One of the latter, whom I consider to be a high-level troll, wrote to me once in a private message saying that he believed in my story, even despite the many reasons why it might not be possible for all other people. In fact, I used to have the same questions as to why I had those experiences, why I received the help from Sao and Biastra, and why other people seemingly don't have any interactions. As you know, we have to pay penalty for all of our mistakes. And the same universal law also applies to people from Saluba, which is the highest category planet there is, the ninth category. So, since they helped me, it means they had a very good reason for, for it. It means that the universal law actually allowed them to provide me their help. And so the question is why? The truth is, I still don't have the complete answer to that question. But I always suspected that the following things might be the reasons, the reasons for their help. On one side lies the awful state of my physical and psychological health, which I used to have at that point in time. And on the other hand is my genuine attempt to learn about life and acquire understandings about it. For example, back then I used to try to learn to see auras in an attempt to try to prove their existence, which in itself would prove to me that in this material capitalistic world there is something bigger which is worth living for. But what led me to that poor state of health? Well, there is a reason for everything, and in the case of my life, there are um, a lot of reasons. Due to this, I had to write a whole book and not just a single little post on a blog in order to write about everything in detail. As I already mentioned, we have to pay penalty for all of our mistakes. And so, if I was to continue to stay silent about my life, and the possible reasons for my interactions with Sao and Biastra, it would be a 100% mistake, for which I would have to pay penalty by suffering. As you know, the information in Michel de Marquez's book, Sao by the Golden Planet, or also known as Sao by Prophecy, is very important. Which means that in one example, in one of my future lives, I could have been prevented from receiving an important information which would greatly help me with my wife's problems. And all of that would happen all because I was afraid to share my knowledge because of a possible negative reaction from some people. By that time I had already suffered enough to consciously make another mistakes. So 
I decided to write a biography book about my life. But also by the time, in addition to my experiences and interactions with Saubians, I also gained some knowledge and understanding about life by studying the information in Michel de Marquet's book. That knowledge greatly helped me overcome many difficulties that I had in life, which made my life a lot easier and happier to live. And since it helped me, it can help pretty much everyone to overcome their psychological issues. Or even better, it could prevent people from ever acquiring such psychological issues in the first place. Then I used to read a lot of frank stories that people posted about their wives on different forums. Reading those stories helped me realize that I wasn't the only person on this planet who suffered, which in turn made my life a lot easier too. So in writing in my book quite frankly and openly about all of my mistakes and the problems that I used to have in life and still have, I was hoping that I in turn would help some other people understand that they are not alone and they are not the only one who have misfortunes in life and that they can also overcome their difficulties if they first realize that they're making a mistake and second they learn their lesson from their wife's experience. In my book I wrote about the topics which are still quite unknown to the general public. As such, a lot of knowledge and events that I wrote about have to do with those little known topics. And this might result in certain events of my life appearing a lot gloomier than they are in the real life. Since I wrote the biography book about my own life, I knew exactly what happened and when it happened. So I decided that I didn't have to have any plan and I started writing my book right away from the first important experience of my life. But when I finished my book, I realized that the plan was actually needed, because I had to add a lot of details in my already written book. Then, due to my poor health and the coronavirus pandemic, I tried to finish my book as soon as possible and I also wanted to publish it as soon as possible. But this is because, in theory, I could die at any moment. This also had an impact on the final form of my book. Maybe the book could have been polished more and maybe some things could have been compressed or even completely removed. And this leads us to the following. If you have read my book Simple Truths of Why and you have some things to say about it, please don't be shy to do so. For example, you can write your review here in the comments to this video. If I have free time, I might try to to edit my book and make it the best version that it can be. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.